rainforest vegetation is often divided into layers. The very top layer, the emergent layer, is so called because trees emerge randomly from the main forest roof. Most of the trees at this level reach 160 feet, but some reach heights of 200 feet or more. These so-called pavilion trees are able to withstand burning sun, strong winds, and torrential rain showers. The next layer is called the canopy. The crowns of the trees in the canopy form an almost closed roof on the forest below, and the canopy is often divided into the upper and lower canopy. Because the top of the canopy basks in almost constant sunlight and can absorb light more easily, trees tend to have smaller leaves than those at the lower level. Usually trees in the canopy are very straight and reach heights of between 100 and 150 feet. The lower canopy is the richest layer in terms of animal and plant life. Most of the mammals that live in the canopy are nocturnal. These higher levels offer a profusion of orchids, bromeliads, ferns, and mosses. The understory extends from the forest floor up to about 80 feet and contains a mix of saplings, tall shrubs, vines, and palms. Leaves are often long and pointed, and their ends form drip tips, allowing excess water to run off quickly. Little sunlight filters into the understory, which makes it dark and humid. The forest floor is the lowest level. Plant growth on the ground is limited because only 1 to 2 percent of sunlight filters down to this level. Because the soil is so poor, trees do not send deep roots into the ground, but instead they form a root mat zigzagging across the forest floor. This mat immediately soaks up nutrients as they become available. The forest floor of pristine rainforest is remarkably uncluttered save for small plants, leaves, and the decaying plant and animal matter which feeds mold and fungi.